nowadays it's really time consuming for the companies to get data from different sources and then get insights from it. Depending on how many sources they have, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. In our situation, the chief financial officer of our Avocado Institute wants his financial analyst to be able to go into their financial ledger and get information about avocado sales and then also the products from those avocados. And at the same time, he wants them to get information from enterprise resource planning and human capital management, consolidate all of these together, and then get derive insights so that they have a clearer and a bigger picture of their company as a whole. Our financial analysts have to create reports independently on these data sources and then combine them together to derive insights. But with the help of Oracle Analytics Cloud, OAC, he is able to combine these data sources together even before he has to work on any reports or insights. Let's just take a look at the connection options that we have in OAC to be able to consolidate these data sources. Let's just take a look at the option that Oracle Analytics Cloud provides you in terms of connections so you can consolidate your data. Let's just go to the Create and then Connections option. And as you can see, we have all these different options for you to connect and then get your data in our tool. Once our analyst has these data sets in our tool, all he needs to do is make a project from them. And this is the kind of screen that our financial analyst will be met with. As you can see, it's blank right now. And on the left-hand side, you can see all the different data sources that the project has. And they're all connected to each other and he could easily use to make sense of it. But this is the first time that the analyst has been able to connect all these sources together. So let's just say that he doesn't have any idea about what he can derive from this tool. For that, all he needs to do is right click on any of these attributes or measures. For example, let's try out with job. Let's right click on job. And as you can see, there's an explain job option in there. This explain job option, if you click on it, it generates graphs for you. So our Oracle Analytics Cloud has an inbuilt machine learning algorithm running in the back end that's able to generate these graphs for you and give you certain idea about how the data is going. And all you need to do to make dashboards from these graphs is just select these, select, let's say select these two. At the same time, we also get information like key drivers, which tells you how that attribute relates to other options and anomalies that you have that for that attribute. So let's just select some of these graphs and click Add Selected. As you saw, these graphs were made for us by the tool and we didn't even have to know what the data was talking to us about. Now that the financial analyst has had some time with the data sources, let's take a look at what he was able to build for his chief financial officer. As you can quickly see from the map, the darker the state, the more the average price of avocados is in that state. So if we were to click on California, you, you see that all the graphs change based on California. This is a tool or a feature that our tool has called pattern brushing that lets us control different visualizations with each other. And from California, we can quickly see small bags are really doing really well across California. But if we were to go to Florida, we would see, hey, large bags are performing better in Florida. So maybe that's an insight that our chief financial officer needs to take a look into and make decisions based on that. Similarly, our financial analyst was able to get more dashboards that talk more about how the volume of our different products has been performing in different regions of United States. From this graph, you can quickly see the average price in the bottom right changing over the past two years, but that's not really giving me any information. So let's try and adding a trend line to it. For that, all we need to do is right click, go to add statistics and click on trend line. And our Oracle Analytics Cloud has inbuilt machine learning algorithms running at the back end that generate that trend line for us. So now that you guys saw that we generated a trend line for the complete region, now let's take a look at how individual re regions do and how the trend line changes based on that. So let's try clicking on Texas as you saw, the trend line still change. If I were to click on New York, the trend line changes again. So all these dashboards are very well connected with each other and interactive at the same time. So you get a better insight from them. But this was all data from the financial ledger. But let's take a look at the dashboards that our financial analyst was able to make using data, not just from financial ledger, but our ERP and HCM at the same time. Now that we've worked with trend lines and KPIs and seeing how the canvases work within themselves and how the graphs interact with each other, 
let's try combining these canvases together and create a multi-dashboard ecosystem to get even deeper insights. In this situation, our financial analyst has two dashboards for us called margin and employee. In the margin dashboard, we are getting a job role level information about our company. And in the employee tab, we are getting employee level information. In the margin tab, we can quickly see there are different job roles, trainer, analysts, consultants. And let's assume that we want to get even in depth on the consultant role and we want to see all the employees working in the consultant job role. For that, all we need to do is right click on consultant and we have a feature called data action in our OAC that lets you combine two different dashboards and pass information between them. So if I were to click on this employees option, it will take me to my employee dashboard at the, as you can see at the bottom. And at the top, you can see the consultant filter has been applied to this dashboard and it's giving me information only about consultants. So it's really easy to combine our information together, our dashboards together to get deeper insights. In our architecture, the Oracle Analytics Cloud is at the heart of our solution. We have three different data sources, which are IBM General Ledger, Oracle ERP, Oracle HCM. So from those, we can take Oracle HCM and ERP directly and connect those to our OAC. But for IBM General Ledger, as it has some sensitive information, maybe we use Autonomous Data Warehouse to get that information first into ADW, and then we connect it to our OAC. So this in turn lets our financial analyst look at all these three different sources at the same time and then make dashboards and reports out of it. Using those, then he can provide these reports to his CFO where his chief financial officer will be able to see the bigger picture and make insightful decisions. Oracle Analytics Cloud provides an application that they can have on their smartphone called Day by Day, which lets them get those quick insights and make it a complete overall solution for their company. As we can see, Oracle Analytics Cloud offers robust functionalities to our financial clients to be able to not just consolidate their data, but at the same time get insights from those data and then make intelligent decisions on it.